What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Chansey Cohn, and we are going to do a little hair tutorial today. I cut my hair off recently. I cut it off about two weeks ago. I cut, like, this much off, like, eight inches? I don't know. It was a lot of hair. I cut a lot of hair off. Also, before we get into the tutorial, I have to say the biggest thank you. Oh my goodness. Um, I posted my first video recently and just the amount of support that I felt from my friends and my family and my clients who are also my friends um, was just incredible. And the last time I looked, I have 30 subscribers. You would think I was Desi Perkins celebrating 3 million. I just feel so thankful that anyone would sit down and take the time to watch my dumb ass talk about hair and makeup. Um, so thank you so, 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 so much. I had so many, like, friends and family members, uh, and clients who are my friends. Um, like, Laurel, I love you, Laurel. Thank you for sharing that video. Um, yeah, there's just, you know how much love you have in your life, but I think, you know, sometimes you're just really reminded of it. So I feel so incredibly thankful, and I'm gonna try and get you guys two videos a week. Um, right now, the schedule I'm thinking is like Tuesdays, Fridays, so you can kind of start the week and end the week with me. Thank you from the bottom of my freaking heart. And if you are someone I do not know in my life, you are a stranger watching this video, if I saw you in person, I would kiss you on the face. Like you are, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So anyways, no further ado. Before I sat down to film this, I used the Way wave spray and I do really like this spray there are plenty of other wave sprays out there that you could use though like if you wanted a drugstore option uh not your mom's makes a really great one it's in like a white and blue bottle any wave spray will do but on shorter hair um if you want that texture um I like to blow dry this into my hair because wave spray actually acts as a volumizer also tip for when you're blow drying this will blow your mind I learned it in hair school and I was like <laughs> heating your hair up is just as important as letting it cool down in that shape. So if you want volume in your hair and you flip your head over and you blow dry it, finish blow drying and let your hair hang there for a little bit and letting it hang there and cool down away from your scalp um, will give you so much volume and it'll kind of like lock that volume in as opposed to just blow drying your hair upside down and flipping it back over immediately. You're actually, if your hair's still warm, too warm at the root, you're just kind of, uh, negating all of the work that you just did. So let it cool down just a little bit with your head flipped over still. Okay, so now that we've addressed blow drying, I'm gonna be using my straightener today and also a curling iron. You do not have to use two tools. If you're comfortable curling your hair with your straightener, you can absolutely do all of this with a straightener. I love to curl my hair with a straightener, but I know it's not everybody's thing, so I kinda wanted to show you different options. First step, I always, I cannot live without this dry shampoo. I like to like shoot some in the front like that and then you part it like get your middle part going on spray some in and then do this part and then back here because that is where I always need volume Ooh, I need a hair clip clip my hair up also, fun fact, if you struggle with volume like I do, um, whenever I clip my hair up, I like to like pull some of this out a little bit because you're just, I know it looks hilarious, but once again, you're just training your hair to have some volume at the roots. So this underneath section, um, I prefer to always do this part with a straightener. So what I go through and do, I'm gonna teach you how to do um, a straightener wave. Hold out your hair like so. And then you're literally going to rotate this almost like you're crimping your hair. Um, so you go out and then rotate it back down like that. Ooh, girl, that's a poof. It looks like high school. Okay. So you just eh, 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 get those ends. I just, as far as the back goes, I just pull a little bit as much forward as I can and repeat that same over under motion. Also, depending on how your lob or bob is cut, don't stress yourself out about the underneath because most of the time your hair lays, it's undercut a little bit and so it lays over it. So really, even if you just went through and did like the sloppiest straighten of your ends down here, if you got the rest of your hair looking good, it'll be fine. Now that we've reached the portion that actually frames our face, um, I like to 
take these sides and then you can do this with your curling iron or with your straightener whatever you feel more comfortable with um, but I will show you with a curling iron um, and I'm going to clamp rotate this away from my face and you leave your ends out just a little bit as you go to pull it out I kind of like to like straighten out my ends a little bit and then also if if curly irons are hard for you take your clamp hold it open and just use it like a wand. So I've done those two front pieces. And then what I like to go through and do is kind of a mixture of those straightener waves and curls. If you feel like you look in the mirror and it looks a little bit crimpy, fear not, that will lose its crimpiness <laughs> in just a few minutes. It doesn't stay super crimpy looking. Over, under, over. And you just keep doing that until you run out of hair. I'm just going to continue that same motion over, under. And you want to make sure you get your ends kind of straight looking. So over, under, straight. Over, under, over. People always ask me about how to do the back of your hair. If you're doing a messy hair look, um, it doesn't matter that much. Like as long as you get some sort of crimp in there and throw a little texturizing spray back there, you're good. You're good. Last section. This is important. Even if you're doing a side part, part your hair down the middle. If you want that like big swoop, what I have found works best for me is if I part things down the middle, style it as I would, and then do my swoop at the end. Because if you think about it, you're over directing the hair this way as it's been parted this way the whole time. So you're telling it to have more volume and sweep over, if that makes sense. Now that we've gotten to the top, the most important part, um, I will still continue to do some of those uh, straightener waves, um, but I'm gonna mix in curls with it too now, like all over, not just at the very front. What I like the best is always to do these two pieces right around my face, my face framing pieces. Um, I like to always do those with a curl as opposed to a straightener wave. I just like the way it looks better. Okay, so I'm just wrapping this, using it like a wand. Also, this is my most favorite curling iron. You can go totally fancy with a curling iron, absolutely, but at the end of the day, a $40 gold and black hot tools curling iron is going to do just as good of a job. And then see how it leaves your ends so super straight. So now that I've got um, a couple pieces curled, I'm going to go into this next piece and I'm going to make this a, uh, a wave with the straightener. I really like, especially on a lob or a bob, mixing those two textures of like curl and wave. You want to use a one inch curling iron. I learned this from Kristen S, actually, Lauren Conrad's hairstylist. I learned it from her Instagram years ago. Unless you have super long hair, there's no need to use anything bigger than a one inch curling iron. Sometimes I will use like one and a quarter, but that's really pushing it because anything over an inch, you need to set the hair. And that takes too much time out of your day. If you want hold and longevity, one inch is a great place to start and if it's too curly for you then all you do is brush it out more piece around my face i'm going to do exactly the same thing i did on this side um with your pieces that frame your face you always want to make sure they're directed away as opposed to forward i think my husband just got home and i'm really embarrassed if he can hear me so direct this away from your face okay and because i don't want this to be like super perfect now we're gonna just do one curl and i'm gonna throw in a straightener wave. Now I'm going to do a couple like wand curls really fast. Pull out this back piece. This is how you do the back of your hair. Pull it out and go for it. Still keeping it parted down the middle. Um, I'm going to go in with some IGK Beach Club and I like to pull my hair out like this. You will notice all of my curls that I did, I did not go back and comb them out with my hands. If you are going to run your hands through your curls right after you've curled them, that's totally fine, but you are creating a looser curl. Putting this in, spray a little bit through the back. Holy grail product. Holy grail. I discovered this while we were in Portland because I just needed like a travel hairspray to um, get me through the weekend. This is the Tresemme hairspray, all day humidity resistance, extra firm control, stronghold with touchable feel hairspray. Um, so this is a travel size, but I will be buying a big size. This is the best. It's not a hairspray. They call it a hairspray. It gives you a little bit of hold. I don't think it's the greatest hairspray I've ever used. It is such an amazing texturizing spray. I kind of do the same thing with that. And I pull my hair out a little bit. I just like mist it up in there. 
a little bit more and I will scrunch with my hands also like go back in and scrunch those curls up a little bit because it makes it look like more like messy and imperfect now that this looks good you can totally like rock your hair middle part if you wanted to but I have been digging a side part um, with the short hair so now I'm going to part it where I normally would and just flip it over and kind of like tousle it a little bit this looks a little bit straight so I'm just gonna do a really quick flat iron uh, wave with it really fast and so now that I do have it parted over here I'm gonna go back in with my Tresemme hairspray and because I want some like volume where I have this swoop right here I'm gonna spray it like direct it towards my like roots right here and like hold it for a second and scrunch it all right, so super happy with the way that looks. Um, this is what I do pretty much every day. If you wanna see more hair care videos, uh, wanna know what I use to like shampoo with, um, any other like styling product favorites or even like a long hair styling product favorites, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.